<laughs> right, okay. Well, I would like to thank... Can everybody hear me first of all? Because I was worried that you wouldn't hear me. Can everybody hear me? I'd like to welcome and thank everyone for coming along today and um, for the unveiling of this commemorative park at 21 Ardbeg Street in honour of my father, R.D. Lane. Um, the unveiling of the short ceremony followed by further speeches and drinks round at Pandora's round the corner. Um, it seems appropriate and fitting today for this plaque to be unveiled on the 7th of October as it would have been his 84th birthday. So we're going to have a sing song later. Mm -hmm. He was born here at 21 Hour Beck Street in 1927 and lived here for the first 24 years of his life. That's the plaque, just that bit. One of the last conversations I had with my father was about his intention to come back and live in Glasgow, and sadly, this wasn't to be. Many people have asked me over the years, why isn't there a plaque at um, his place of birth? Well, now I can say there is. Um, with the help and support of a lot of people here today, um, I would like to thank and acknowledge Glasgow University um, for all their support. Thank you. And, um, their contribution and thank you to Govan Hill Housing Association and um, to Lillian Mallon and Anne Leah director for giving us permission for the plaque to be put on the floor um, and in addition I would like to say thank you to all the residents for their permission as well I know that you're here today so thank you very much for that a personal thank you, this is my little personal speech, to my family and friends and to friends Ian Patterson and Douglas Timmons who've been very helpful and thank you for that. And a special thank you to Satinda Panasar um, who worked tirelessly in supporting me with this venture. Thank you Satinda. And now, without further delay, um, I would like to invite Alistair, renowned and much acclaimed novelist, artist, playwright, academic, teacher and poet. I hope I haven't left anything out, Alistair. <laughs> you put too much in. Who met with my yes. father on several occasions. Um, a wee dram or two was partaken. Yes, not by you of course, Alistair. I um, believe up to Ardy to go down that road. So, okay, thank you Alistair. Um, the, um, Ronnie's greatest work and achievement uh, were part of a more civilised Britain that was constructed through the welfare state after the beverage report during the Second World War and the attempts of a mainly Labour government, aided by a more humane Tory administration in those days to create a welfare state and maintain it. Um, we've survived into a more barbarous time when the industries that kept Britain prosperous have been dismantled when our only major industries are banking and arms manufacture which is why for the last God knows 20 years we've been involved in continual warfare at the behest of America why torture has become official in America with British support, why the police can now arrest people without charging with a crime and hold them without access to lawyers, yes, in Britain. Uh, Ronnie, and uh, on the medical side, when it has increasingly become official that ill people, people with mental disturbances or difficulties, are brains that can be cured by the right meditation by any young practitioner who has a book of guidance by the thermocutical industries that can tell them what pills to give to what people that they don't get on very well with. Um, that was... <laughs> Ronnie believed in the talking cures that what it came down to that psychiatrists and nurses should talk to people who felt cut off and alienated from the world and from society 
by listening to them and conversing with them. And the essence of that was a kind of Christianity, I would say. Um, it's something that will have to be returned to after this very, very bad patch we're going through. And, um... <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Alistair. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, we're just going to head round the corner, everybody, and see you there. <laughs> Further speeches, we're going to have three speakers round the corner, and um, a complimentary drink when you go in, so um, there'll be raffle tickets handed out to people. <laughs> <laughs> and you go in the door, and a sausage roll, so let's go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alistair. That was very kind. Are you coming?